Hi fellas, nice to, nice to see you all back on here on my junkyard. <laughs> and the boat is messy, There's so much stuff around. But I kind of keep trying to keep in order at least the galley area. However, um, yeah, I have a bunch of things to show you, so... You have no freaking idea what you're doing there. Uh, what? Yeah, I, I think I know what I do here. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. You you know what? I don't want to speak or talk with somebody who's so negative. What the? Who is negative? Me? Bro. I'm just realist. Oh, okay. That's it. That's it. That's it. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna wait, remove wait, wait. you. Okay. Go, go somewhere else. That's Maybe it. Maybe you know something about the boats. Maybe you know how to build it. But you still are the nice. What? No, 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 not removing me, oh, Yes, I don't know, and that's the whole point of this. I do, and we all learn. So. Well, I install my shunt, which will give me the measurements of the battery. So I can see how much I spend, how much I have in the batteries, and stuff on. It's, this one is with Bluetooth, so basically I don't need the monitor, but what I do need is my phone and download the app. Here I can see it's 100% right now. If I go to the settings of battery, I know you can't see here because the GoPro is pretty bad in focusing on the screams and stuff. But yeah, I have to sy synchronize uh, when I know that the battery is full and then it's gonna show me the correct voltages and the uh, capacity of the battery. Um, yeah, however, I did have this before, and this one is Shant, also, by Victrum. And uh, this works with the battery monitor that I have here. So when I approached this one, I didn't know that actually the Bluetooth gives so much information, way much more than actually that battery monitor there. I installed this one, and I found out that it doesn't work. So my battery monitor actually is not showing anything at all. I'm like, what the hell is wrong? I connect everything as it's written in uh, drawings. So what I found out is that I accidentally touched the plus with the minus. Here is the small digit here and I touch it and I think that's actually break up the micro scheme or mm, what something is breaked up or something is broken. Uh, that would be the correct word. So, yep, and then I decide, okay, I'm gonna go up and look for the on the Bluetooth, with the Bluetooth version. And with the Bluetooth, they don't have that option where you can place like the bat battery monitor. Not this kind of battery monitor that I have here. However, there is an option that you can place a battery monitor that actually is uh, like with a touch and scream. And that, uh, that I would probably going to place it later on, but for now uh, I'm good with the app. And here it goes. It's uh, almost set up. It's just one, one, one more wire that's going to go from the batteries in the front back here. However, okay, that's it for that. I mean, it's been a lot of wirings. I will show you the... Uh, I will show you the drawings when I will be ready with the, for, with the wiring, so you can actually see what I did here. Otherwise, I can show you this, but it's hard to explain. So I install also my AC power, and here I have the switches down there. And uh, what they're gonna do, uh, I'm able to switch it off and on when I want. I also connect my new inlet. So look what I have here. I have my inner frame for my hatch with the net. It's pretty cool. So what I decide, I told you that I'm gonna make it like with oak and stuff, but it takes so much time. So I found, I hope, finger crossed that it's gonna fit and it's the right size. Otherwise I'm so screwed again. So let's check if it fits. Finger crossed that it's gonna fit. And looks like it's gonna fit. Yeah, it fits. How awesome is that? Oh my gosh. Fuck. 
the angle on, on the corners is not right. Uh, it's the same size, everything is the same except the corners. It's a small, small gap. Well, well, I can live with that. I can play some silicone or something, cover up that corners, but yeah, it's that's it's annoying. Why are they making so different corners? Why they cannot make like one standard corner? This is more sh like more turn, and this hatch actually has less turn. Ah, how annoying is that? But okay, I take I have to take do some adjustments because I have to take a material from the middle to get it more in. But however, it generally it fits, which is also super cool. It's bloody expensive for this plastic. It feels really cheap. It's so expensive, like hundred dollars just for this piece of plastic. Yeah, but I have to save time, so I guess that's the only way. Let's go to the front. Because here I have my batteries. And here I have my battery charger. And this one I had before when I got the boat. It's 20 amps. And it should be, it should be powerful enough to charge my batteries. So it might be slower than the one that I actually was planning to install, 120 amps. That's really, really strong. But still this running and charging, seems like it's charging, I don't, I don't know actually. I don't have anything to check the batteries and uh, I need to got one. However, um, all the electricity as you assume is connected as well otherwise i couldn't charge my batteries i do need to run one more cable i lift my floor up simply because i installed the hatches uh, this winter inspection hatches the new ones and uh, i just want to make sure that they not leak so i grab a water and i will test we'll see uh, just how we're gonna do it just gonna do the water around and if it leaks it leaks and then i will know that it's not working and it has some leak so yeah let's try that and see how that's gonna work so so good that i did that because i found out that this hatch leaks this hatch leaks in one side that hatch leaks so three hatches leaks well this and i knew it's gonna happen actually because uh, the floor is not straight and i didn't uh, do anything to make it straight uh, i have to place a lot of silaflex and i have to screw down unfortunately i didn't screw down this hatch and i didn't screw down this hatch in this corner where it le actually leaks and also i didn't have anywhere else to screw down this one and that's the reason also why it leaks you kind of the same reason over there actually i screw everywhere there so it's a little bit strange why it leaks there however i have to solve this problem before i close down and undo anything else because basically all the pipes is connected and i need to place the water in the water tank and test the system out this if it leaks from top it will leak from under coming up and everything will be with the water. I install my inner frame for my hatch. However, this net for insects, it kind of uh, yes I can close it but it's pretty hard to actually manage it on place simply it's kind of stay uh, on these two locks but not here because my roof is crooked 
so it's uh, not straight which means uh, uh, this hatch is supposed to this inner frame is measured as it is as it would be straight but well in my case it's not this net kind of will protect some insects maybe but yeah if I could push this one harder I could close it down completely there is like a small small gap where the insects can get in other than that actually it turned out really really good I'm a bit surprised even because in the first I thought the angle is different but at the end when I place up it kind of even itself out and uh, it's turned out really well remember my steering uh, uh, steering issue when it's, it was really hard to steer the boat and I found out that I don't have a bearings and I have this kind of system so it didn't uh, it was really hard to steer so what I decide I got these kind of bearings and I I made my foundation here and I get the second bearing right here screwed next to that old mounting place and this will go in just like this and eventually it's gonna turn around and I have a place where I can screw down this one so I did my own glue by using epoxy by using this epoxy raisin and I mix it up with uh, 403 West systems uh, I hope it's gonna be good enough strong enough to hold that uh, piece on place today is the day that I want to do start uh, placing a fairing compound on my on the bottom of the boat to fill up the cra cracks and everything that I have when I scrape off the old bottom paint so the thing that I'm going to do I'm gonna use a polyester base uh, fairing compound not the epoxy and uh, and I will show you how I do that. Dude, what the... Where the smell is coming from? Holding tank. That's where the smell is coming from. Oh, this smells pretty bad. We will open this one. Oh, yeah. It starts to open up. Ooh. This is like cocaine. Yep, a little bit bigger. Let's mix it up. Yep, am I rushing? No way. Do I know what I'm doing here? I don't know. But it should work. Yep, it looks way better now. So let's place this one up before it's fucking getting hard. No, it's gonna be screwed if it's getting too hard. There's actually more and more people using epoxy instead of polyester. And I think the reason for that is that because they think that epoxy is better. Oh, from most cases it's, it is better. I think it's more like what product you like more and what product you've been working before. And you, you kind of get used to one product that you work and you really don't want to change it. I think it's that's for me. Um, I start working with polyester and I just kind of stick with polyester. I like it. It's easy. It's easy to sand. It's easy to work. 
And for me, generally, it's, it just works better. However, there is people who has a different opinion, and most of them, and most, I think, coming from USA, maybe UK, and uh, but here, more in Sweden, I actually realized that people, more and more often they use epoxy uh, in, in lately years, but before it's just polyester all the time. And I'm generally like the polyester. I can't find nothing bad with it. Well, of course, the Calcut. The Calcut is another thing that people don't want to kind of do anymore. They use epoxy instead. And they think that the epoxy is going to protect more. And uh, it's kind of right and not, because uh, they both kind of do the same job. The purpose for the both is the same. The epoxy protects the boat from moist and getting the water in the fiber and the Gelcot does the same. I mean the Gelcot been for in a boat for so so many years uh, and the boats were sailing around the world. It wasn't any problem. Oh so guys it's such a wonderful weather outside. It's raining and it's supposed to rain for at least two days more and still minus in the morning uh, during the nights actually it's really cold and during the days it's not better it's still plus two plus three degrees outside I don't remember the May uh, as cold as it is right now uh, however I have to end up this week's episode right here because otherwise I'm not gonna be able to upload this week's episode uh, so hey weirdo what who, me? No, the fucking birds, of course you. You know that you're talking with yourself, right? Where the heck are you coming from again? No, I'm talking with the people who are watching my channel. Who the hell is watching your channel? I'm the only one who is watching the channel. And that's only because of I'm stuck with you here. You know, I'm getting tired from you. You are the only one who is coming in my videos. So what are you talking about? Anyway, what do you want from me? What I want? You just talk and talk and talk. Let me talk and I can yeah. do that way much better, believe me. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. If I could work, I would be done with everything just before your first video. Oh, really? No, 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 no. You cannot remove me because I'm the only person why your videos get watched. So, oh really? You, huh. you know? No, no, no. Bye. No. no. Anyway, uh, yeah. So, fellows, uh, if you like my channel, go below and subscribe. If you like this video, thumbs up, and see you in the next week's episode. Bye.